really be clear, like when you come high, right, being to the outside, all right, then he comes to the other side, really being clear, being to the outside. I think if you break it down that way, just like that footwork drill, it was, you know, very, you know, precision. Interrupt. Make sure you're using the right hand to direct it, and then that left hand, what we are calling a rip, right? Yeah. And then rip with the left. And just stay in that position. Right, left, and stay there. But get your, your foot alignment and try to get your heel, don't be so flat-footed. Get your heels up, right? Because you, you want to go forward, all right? So hands are up, right, left, and then come back with the hand that's out, left, right. Just work both sides right now, and then just work it slow. Don't rush it. Make sure you have good hand position and good alignment with the shoulders. So you should be shoulder to shoulder when you're outside. I don't want us up here. I don't want us up here. Swipe, right? Swipe, rip, outside. Swipe, rip, outside. Swipe, rip, outside. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, with the back to me. Here we go. Ready, ready. Guys, face me. Has their left hand up. Good. Here we go. It is swipe, rip, outside. Sit. Here we go. Swipe, rip, outside. Again. Here we go. Here we go. Swipe, rip, outside. Sit. Listen. It's only a two-go drop. Let's not go three because this is what I want you guys to work on. Yeah. When I do this, coach. Go, go through here. You see what Coach is doing here? When he does it, it's not he's moving his hands and then his feet. Right? So he's, I'm here, he's moving his hands and his feet at the same time. So when Coach says go, it's got to be here, here, right? Here, right? Here. Right. So we have we have a principle in martial arts, eyes, feet, technique. Right. You see something coming, you have to have your feet underneath you in order to, to execute the technique. You have speed and power behind it. So, but it's a timing thing. You want to try to get it like, you know, almost at the same time. Right. But the feet should be under you first. You don't want to be off balance. You see when coach does it, he, he just like he's not even thinking. His feet are just moving. Without him thinking, right? So his, his feet are connected to his hands, but he's not like, all right, I do this and then this. I do this and then this. It's all connected. I'm not asking to hurt somebody, right? but I'm doing it at the just, just going to touch oh, my chest. It's it's not not really really right? You see how I feel? Right? How am I going to touch? My hand that, so that's how I'm going to do it to you. So, so, so get the hand on. on. Time to get right, the so I'm going to try to touch your chest. Here we go. 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 Right. Now, right here, right. here, when I come to touch your chest, go. just redirect me. So we can move oh, through. Right. How it doesn't have to be just very linear. Right. Right. So here we go. 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 But once you get it, 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 it will make a tremendous difference in your technique, all right? So both sides have to have their hands up, all right? Because that's what's happening on the line, right? You're fighting for, for position. So the person attacking, hands are up. The person defending, the hands are up as well, all right? You, you can't drop them. Think of putting the hands, um, think of just putting your head through, through your hands. That's where your hand placement should be, right here. And it's pretty similar to what you have, right, Coach? Same thing. He's doing the same thing. See the way the elbows are in? All right. So right, left, when you move to the right. When you move to the left, left, right. Defense facing me. Like, if we're going to jump, come to me. I'm not asking you to step weight, but come to me. It's not, Coach, we want to be... Coach, am I wrong in saying, like, let me just get it again for a second. And you see the punch, right? I'm going here, and I'm right here. Like, like I want to be tight to this guy. I don't want to be way out here. Is that right? True? Yeah, like, defensive, like. That, that's why I'm saying, when he comes with that left, uh, so come here. I'm yeah, see where coach is? 
Yeah. Right here. All right? You got to remember, for the sake of the drill, too, if he's coming left, come with the right, all right? And, and just keep, keep both hands up. Keep both hands up. Keep both hands up. <laughs> now punch low. All right? So I'm out to the side here. All right? Shoulder to shoulder. Come with the other hand low. All right? Here. Come middle. All right? So even when I'm here, shoulder to shoulder. All right? Really tight. Really so tight. This is hands up. That's what hands up means. That is not hands up. That is and hands it, up. And the same thing, you gotta relax a little bit more. You, you, really, you really have to be super loose. But look, you guys are big and strong. And, and if you loosen up, it makes a tremendous amount of difference. It really makes a tremendous amount of difference, believe me. Like I, like I said the first day I came in here, I wish I had this martial arts concept before I actually played football because it would have made a tremendous difference Right? The, the stretching and the relaxation is really important. You, you guys, you, you, you know, if I'm looking at somebody, you know, if I'm looking at you, you, you don't need any more strength. Right? You need the quickness, the relaxation. That's what's going to give you the edge over somebody. If you watch some of the greatest pass rushes in, in pro football, they're relaxed. It looks like they're just they're, they're running downfield. They're not tense and tight. Right? So relaxation is really important. So when you're here, there shouldn't be any tension in the body. Think if the body's always tense, what's happening? You, you, you're burning energy. You're fatiguing. So what, what gives somebody that extra edge right, in a fight? It's the person that's relaxed. If you're tense and you're tight, you can't pull the trigger on your techniques. It's the same thing. You can't get off the line of scrimmage. Right? Same exact thing. You've got to be loose. If, you, if, you're, if you're down in your three-point stance and you're tense and you're tight, that, that ball is tight. You're still there. Or well, you'd probably be on your ass. <laughs> right? But relaxation is going to give you that explosiveness. Right? So try to really like, let the body go. It's, 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 hard to, it, it's hard to understand. But when you're in that combat, in that zone, on that line, you know, there's a lot of the same stuff going on with the hands, moving people all over the place. Relax, relaxation is going to be your key. That would be key to your success. Line back up. Let's go. No, right here. Get in between those two woods. If they got their left foot to the wood, there's one other wood space right here. If I'm standing right here on the wood, they got to get in through one wood's whip. Am I making sense? Yes. Yeah, so here we go. Ready, ready. Who's going? I'll, I'll Which way are you going? You're going this way. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Ready, ready. Check up. See, that's good. what he's got to do. That's good. That's what he's got to do. Okay, again, again, again. Ready, ready. Say go! Okay, you got to get seated. We talk about that all the time. Now listen, other times, and in, 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 when we watch the Penn State guys, and they do this, they're here, and they get through. They, that hip drill, their hip space, it doesn't matter which way you do. But again, it's here, and they get right through here. We don't necessarily want our hip, our PP on the hip. The reason Penn State puts their PP on the hip is because they are pass rushing all the time. Right. The first thing they do is pass rush because in who they're playing, more times than not, those guys are throwing the ball. Okay. Even though we play teams that are in the spread, what are most teams doing? Running, right. Running the ball. They, if we look at it and chart it, they run the ball more than they throw the ball. That is every single team. Every single team we want to look at, no matter who we play, even though some teams are like, wow, they're really spread out and throwing the ball. No. When you chart it, they run more than they throw the ball. Now, because of that, because of that, when we go through, we keep our shoulders square. We don't put our peepees on the hip because why do we do that? Why don't we put our peepees on the hip? Because if they run the ball outside, we're not good enough when the ball goes that way to say, oh shit, I gotta redirect. It makes it more difficult for us to do that. Okay? When you get to Penn State, you put your PP on the hip. Got it? <laughs> and anywhere else it will help. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> here we go. Here right, we so go. left high. Right? I'm out here, left high again. Right? I'm out here. 
left low. So the hand that's out in front, that's going to be the hand that redirects the hand coming in here. All right? Then when the, the other punch comes in or the other hand technique comes in, it's the hand that's out in front that redirects it, and I get to the outside. I'm just trying to break it down a little bit. All right, so it's always the hand. So if I'm doing it by myself, all right, if I'm moving to my right, it's right, left. If I move to my left, it's left, right. I go back to my right, right, left. I go back to my left, left, right. Okay? And then the hand position on the up coach, because I want to learn. The, up the hand position on the up, my hands are always up. Yep. But the hand, the swipe is here, here and, here. and a rip. That's but now it. when it's left, here. Um, he, am I coming here or am I, you understand? If it's low left. Okay, if it's, if it's, if it's low left, I'm coming with the right. Right, and that's what I'm saying. The Inside, hands, yep. like, like here, my hand, see yep. where my thumb is above my right elbow? Yep. Right, right here, here, it's kind of my hand is, my thumb exactly. is below my elbow, right? Yep. yep, so your hand's like in a vertical position. Right, right, right. right. And then off. Yes. Okay. Right. 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 Yep. We never turn our shoulders. Swipe here, it's not. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? It's got to be here. That's an right. overextend. You never want to overextend your body. It's like if somebody went to hit you on the head. You don't want your hand traveling all the way out here. It's just a quick, short motion up. Everything has to be tight. It's the same idea as our surfboard with our feet. It's like a body surfboard. Don't get this outside of the confines of your body. Right? So it's not this big, whoa, and then I throw myself off balance. And it's here, and I'm kind of attacking from. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're still low left. We're still low left. Here we go. Ready, ready. So go. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Ready, ready. So go. Here we go, here we go, ready, ready. So go! Stay down. Watch. We do uh, an exercise drill in uh, judo, it's called uchikomi. Uchikomi means you, you're doing the lift, but you're not throwing the person. Okay, now, uh, just extend your hand down. How do I lift somebody his size? Right, say I wanted to lift him. Right? It's very difficult, you know, to stand here and try to pick them up. So I have to use technique, all right? So we have something called kazushi or off balance. So what I want to do is I want to try to get the body, just keep your feet together for right now. I want to get the body in this position where he's already going, all right? So if he was going to grab me, all right, I would pull the hand to get that motion where he's coming towards me. Now, from here, once I have this motion, See his hand going this way? The lower I get, the easier it is for me to pick him up. All right? Once he's up, then I can toss him. But I got to get low. All right? So keep your feet to teach. So if I was going to do that technique on him, I really wouldn't even go for the waist. I would try to bang him out by the, by the thighs. So kick him out this way. All right? So that's why Coach wants to, the lower you are, the more power you're going to be able to generate. Okay, so you got to try to get low, stay low. So, just over here, look at these lines. Here's the heels, right? And where's that new line of scrimmage? It's behind the heels of the offensive lineman. Okay? So, when he goes, here we go, ready, 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 set, go. Yeah, he's got to be on this side of the line. He's got to be on this side of the line. That's what you guys are not doing. You guys are stepping to here. We need to be to here. See the difference? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Back to the right. Right, back to the right, back to the right, back to the right. Here we go. Ready, ready. Say go. That's better. That's better. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready, ready. Say go. Here we go. Let's get in our like listen, we should be here. This is how we're gonna live. This is how we're gonna live. So drop the hips. Everybody have their hips dropped. Let's get some strength in our, right? Here we go. Ready, ready. Sit go. So, so again, we'll left, right, so high, right, high, low, high, low. Now mid, the hand that's out directs it. The opposite hand's going to come on the inside, right? So even think of striking the arm and then cutting. All right, so I redirect it, I come inside, and now I get the hand back up. Now he comes with the other hand. I redirect, 
just like you're going to try to, just think like push, push them up. All right, I redirect it, strike in, and then I cut. Coach, go back for a minute. Yep. When he's here, right, this is the same thing. Hey, everyone look. Guys, hand, guys, come in, come in. The hand is the same, right? On the mid, the high, the low, and the mid, the hand is the same, right? Now, when coach strikes, he's striking with the back of his forearm. Look at his palm. His palm is facing the man, but now, go ahead, coach. What he does is just twist the palm out. Right? He twists the palm out. <coughs> right? He twists the palm out. It's facing the man and then away from the man. It's facing the man and away from the man. Facing the man, away from the man. Right? See, it's, it's that simple and that small. Let me, let me show you just a, an, another idea of this. From here, if I go to advance forward, Right? Just take your elbow like you're going to block in towards my chest. See how I can't get outside here. All right? I come in here and I go high. You may want to go high. Okay. You know, because now if he come, he, I'm already outside position. Right? So watch again. I'll do it slow. Here, here. Now when I go here, because you're not just staying there, right? You're, now you come into me like you're going to block. No, we got you. You, you, you can bang, buddy. No. All right. Come in. Block, block me now. Block. Drop in. See, I can't get to the outside. All right. Here. I come higher. All right. See where I am? See, how? See what Coach is saying? Look, 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 look. I, I go to block with my hands just like I teach, right? I'm here. Now he blocks. I'm not going to just say, ah, uh, screw it. He got He's me. Coming with this. I'm going to do this. Now, now I'm in the same spot. I got to fight again to get to the outside. But if I come a little bit higher here, yes, think of the elbow. Think, think of it. The elbow clears the elbow. If he, if he strikes down on top of my head, like you can do a hammer fist strike, right? I blocked him, right? Is this good? No, not really, because he could drive his elbow right into my <laughs> chest. But if he goes to hit me and I come here, you see how I kind of knock him back and I have my ground. So it's about learning how to attack certain parts of the body to give you the advantage. What I've said during the week is we don't want to attack the wrist. Where do we want to attack? The elbow. The elbow. The elbow. Not elbow. the wrist, the elbow. Not the wrist, the elbow. So even in this drill, when he comes here, think of, think of doing this here. You're still to the outside. All right, come up a little bit higher. All right, right now you guys are just learning the movements of the drill. But think of coming higher, controlling the whole body, rather than just a, a part of it. Because even if I just attack here, he could bend the elbow in. All right, he could bend the elbow in. He, he come, I attack here, he could bend the elbow in, but I can redirect it. <coughs> you got to keep your knees a little bit flexed, some of you guys. Um, you know, coaches having you go low, but then when you come up, you kind of lock them out again. Always keep those knees flexible. Bend, bend, keep flexing it. All right, let's go. Last one. Come on. How do you get, right? You swipe, and then you're getting caught, right? If I come and he wants to keep his arm in there, I'll snap his arm. No, and I'm not, I'm not, that's just the, the, the that's just gonna, and he's gonna be like, hey, I don't want my arm snapped. Take it out. He's gonna take it out, and that's your that's your go. You, you get what I'm saying? Here we go. Here we go. Ready, 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 ready. We're gonna punch you. We're gonna punch you. Mid left. Mid left. Here we go. Ready, ready. Let's go. <laughs> Just take a knee for a second. Take a knee so you can see this. Um, um, Put, put your hands out this way, okay? And then what I want you to do is I want you to just to put your hand right on my chest. Right. Right, just one, just one. Yeah. Right? So get those hands back in position. Both hands back. Okay. And right now you look so tight. Right? Do you feel me at all? Or I'm, no, I'm like relaxed, right? You feel you're very tense. You relax that, relax. It's got to be like, it's really got to be like mush, all right? So what I want you to do is fast as you can. 
with this hand, push me in the chest. Good. Okay? Ready? Do it again. Do it. Good. Yeah. Good. You can do the other one too. See the way I'm redirecting him? Yeah. Away from my body. Okay, now I'm going to You guys you get that up Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, no. Same thing. You got to relax. I'm so tense. Relax. Listen, don't, don't do this where, don't do this as a, like a competition in the beginning where, you know, you're going to try to blast your partner. Right? Do it as a relaxation technique. So when I'm laying my hands on him right now, you feel what my hands are? Well, do you feel any tension? No, there's no tension. So if he's doing anything towards me, I, I could hook, pull, strike, right, turn him, knee him, right? There's a lot of things I could do. So you, you, it's almost like you're laying on the person, right? And then very easy, so try to punch my chest. I just re redirect it. So you're, what's happening is you're tensing up in the shoulders. So that's where I'm feeling the energy from. Where it should be like right from, see my shoulder didn't do anything, I'm coming with the hand, okay? So just relax, right? And try it whenever you want, try to touch. Good. Just like that. Not, not a competition. Then I'm going to go. Okay, same thing. Even when I attack him, I'll attack slow. I'll attack high. All right? Mid-level. Low. High. To give him an opportunity to feel my, my energy. That's going to be all he, warm up. That's what we're going to warm up. All he's doing is redirecting it. Once you get the concept of relaxation, then you pick up the speed. Then you pick up the speed. All right? So we're not in the ceiling. That's not a good... Do you have an air shield? How far? Yeah. I do. But listen, you, I, I, I could be wrong on this, but here's, I think, the, the big difference between Eastern and Western philosophy. We think... Now we gotta <laughs> yes. rail this guy. See, what, we right. go for the knockout punch. See, when he's Western, going back, he's, uh, go back, go back right. with the punch. When he's going back, I'm just looking to stop this and then come back and hit him. But, but again, it, it's this, let's wind up and back. That's what we think as a as, you know, Western culture. Eastern culture is, okay, go ahead, but I'm That's just going to get it a little bit out of the way, a little bit out of the way, a little bit out of the way. We want to get the knockout punch. They want to just, oh, oh. they want to be, okay, okay. we want to be, whoa. It's just, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. That's the difference, I think, the mentality that you guys have to start to You guys take. ever watch that movie, Remember the Titans? Yes. yes. Right? Isn't there a part in that movie with sunshine? The quarterback, when somebody tries to attack him, I think in the locker room, right. and he just drops him more on the field or something. In the locker room. In the locker room. All right? Same concept. All right? Okay. Uh, just, just put your hands up. Okay, so a front snap kick, right? If you could think of this. A front, just stay right there and don't move. A front snap kick is designed to, it's a long range technique. It's when your opponent's away from you. Right, a short range technique would be like a knee, all right? So I'm going to show you the mechanics of the kick. All you're going to do is pick your knee up, extend your leg, re-chamber, and put it back down. So do it really slow. Do it really slow. Good. And put it back down. Do it again. Slow. All right? Try to get the knee up first. All right? Then re-chamber re -chamber in the same spot the knee started in. Then put it down. Okay? Put it down. Try to relax a little bit more. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to hit with this part of the foot into the back. Right? Just do it nice and slow. Go. Right? No, no. Point, point, point the toes. Go. Good. Do it again. Good. Do it again. So if I was teaching you a kick, right? Just right there. How do you want that kick to be? Solid. What? Solid. Powerful. Right? But what do you need for power? What does he need to do to increase the power? Relax. What else does he need? He needs speed. All right, so relax. All right, a little bit more speed. Go. Good. A little bit more speed. Go. Good. A little bit more speed. Go. A little bit more speed. 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 Faster. 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 All right. So as he picks up the speed, his kick is getting stronger. It's the same thing with these drills. Start slow. Relax. 
Then once you kind of get the concept and where the coaches want you in position, then you start picking up the speed. That will make the technique a lot more powerful. Then when you blow through those gaps, man, there'll be nobody stopping. But you got to keep everything tight and relaxed. Thank you. All right, give him a hand. All right, bring it, bring it down. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. East on three, east on three. One, two, three. East. Stop. Yeah, guys.